You now have in hand the free downloadable PDF that's available from Iowa State University Extension and Outreach website, a burn plan. And we now have to step through each of those individually, and this is done well before the burn ever begins. Right off the top, you're going to want to fill in your contact information and your address. You're going to want to write down your neighbor's contact information, and you're going to want to write down your local sheriff and EMS coordinator's contact information. You also need to make sure every member of your burn plan crew have their information, their name, their number written down. They need a copy of that burn plan. And most importantly, they need a copy of the map. That will allow you to have clear lines of communication if something were to go wrong. It also allows the crew leader to dictate the speed of the fire and who is doing what and where. Most importantly, it is critical that you know where everyone is and a good clear map will do that. You begin to think about the site that you are going to burn and you begin by creating a map of the burn area. So you know the number of acres, you know the terrain, you know the natural fire breaks that are already there on the site. It helps you plan what fire breaks you need to put in. Knowing the size, knowing the terrain, knowing the number of fire breaks will allow you then to estimate the number of individuals that you're going to need on site the day of the burn. You then take a wider view of the overall area and you look at your neighbors. You look at the hog confinements, the livestock confinements, the homes, the schools, the roadways that are nearby. And you begin to think which way you want your smoke to go. Because when you burn, there is a large amount of smoke that's created. You need that smoke to go in an area that is away from homes, away from the road, away from livestock confinements. So you now then know what wind direction you need. You now have in hand the free downloadable PDF that's available from Iowa State University Extension and Outreach website, a burn plan. And we now have to step through each of those individually, and this is done well before the burn ever begins. With that, you look at hazards that are on the site. 